Let's, however, look ahead to the game coming up on Sunday. It is the weekly game of the year, and it is fantastic. It is the Miami Dolphins. It is the Kansas City Chiefs on the call. The man whose name is on the wall right here, live from Germany, Rich Eisen. I Hello, asked gents. earlier. Good Rich. morning, Rich. What's up, brother? Good morning, Rich. Hello, Will, everybody. Up, Greetings from Frankfurt. Good evening. Will your hotel room look as good as the one in London? I have no idea. That's really up to you guys. Uh, I, if you want to yelp it out, go for it. I like the lighting. Um, I like the wall. Uh, Got the lighting on. Thank you for making yeah. the bed. I mean, the lighting. I think it looks oh, I good. I didn't make it. I just flew. <laughs> guys, I flew in. I flew in and went immediately to uh, see the Dolphins. We nice. just uh, zoomed with the Kansas City Chiefs, who are leaving, um, I believe, later on tonight to get here tomorrow. And uh, I'm fired up. It's just really awesome uh, and and let me just give you some um some nuggets that i got from the conversation with the uh with the dolphins we we chatted with jalen ramsey and then tyreek hill and then tua and then raheem mostert and um tyreek hill is fired up for this game he is very excited he was he was saying that he's still uh in close contact with mahomes and kelsey and a bunch of guys in kansas city and um, Kansas City is known for playing man coverage, which is something he loves to torch. Um, and uh, I think he expects to see man coverage again, and he is ready to go. He said he has a goal of 2,000 yards this, this week? season with 18 <laughs> touchdowns. I know, right? With eight, well, he's halfway there. Yeah. He's halfway there. Um, so uh, and through just eight games, first guy since 1961 to do it. Um, he, he, 2000 yards is a goal, 18 touchdowns is a goal. He has eight right now. Um, he's particularly fired up and, um, just for, for us folks here, uh, on the rich Eisen show, uh, not just in the studio, but those who watch us and listen to us as much as, uh, you kindly do, or hopefully do. Um, I did in fact, bring up to Tua Tungo Vailoa, the fact that my favorite version of him is salty to him oh, and let him yeah. know that and yeah. told him that I particularly he, appreciate he when he claps back. And, uh, he looked at me like I was absolutely totally crazy. And that, um, and that, uh, he, that's not part of his upbringing. He never talked back to his elders as he said, but, um, you know, he, he said that sometimes it is made, uh, known to him what is being said, and that sometimes he does like to take the gloves off. And I said, that's great. Uh, I, I need more of that. And told him that the the Salty Tua segment is one of uh, our favorite segments to run and more more popular segments. I don't believe he's going to take that and mean now he's going to, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, and um, and and uh, uh, the start, pro start programming our, our show for us. No. Um, but uh, I, I it, it, it was just neat to see him. He, he couldn't have been more relaxed and comfortable and happy. And um, and and this team is raring to go. And we just were Zooming with the Chiefs. And the thing that um, I, I gleaned from this conversation is um, is that I, I, it sure seems like Re Andy Reid, when we spoke to him, he was he was very, you know, Andy Reid business like. But uh, from uh, some of the conversations that we had with his players subsequently, um, it, it, it does appear Travis Kelsey, let us know. And we'll mention this on the broadcast that Andy Reid had some choice words for the team coming off of their loss in Denver and Mahomes has, uh, echoed those sentiments and the team is locked in, uh, from those comments earlier this week from their coach. There's been a challenge put on the table after that road loss with the turnovers and drop passes in Denver. Um, so I'm, I'm really fired up about this to say the least. Five turnovers in that game. And I, I know a lot of people, Rich, want to go, oh, well, Patrick Mahomes had the flu. They had beaten him 16 in a row, or he had um, never lost a road game in, in the division. Eh, they were just due. They looked so off in right. that game. And I, look, also the second time they had played the Broncos in three weeks. Something's got to be said for that as well. And give Sean Payton credit. Give Russell Wilson mm -hmm. credit, but they did not look like a championship team at all. Not even no, close. I, I, they didn't. They they absolutely one hundred percent did not. And um, 
that is something we're going to see. Um, and we will find out if this is, if this is in fact um, something that will fire Kansas city up, but they, they, they are very well aware who's coming in and that it's Tyreek Hill and that it is this offense and the defense. Um, we spoke to Jalen Ramsey. He said a lot of things that are going on with this team reminds him of the championship year he spent with the Rams in Los Angeles. And um, and he he genuinely feels um, that he and Xavier Howard on the same field are going to be um, uh, stout enough to see if potentially Vic Fangio can release some sort of evil in the direction of Patrick Mahomes. And um, and interestingly enough, though, the Kansas City players essentially were saying, hey, you know, the defense that we just saw in Denver is very similar since it's Vic Fangio's old unit in a way. Um, they feel like they 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 just got some very valuable, if you will, reps, even though it didn't uh, yield a win for them. Uh, I, I just loved ch- talking to stars of the game, pro bowlers of the game, fantasy football stars that are going to be out there on the field on Sunday morning for so many people in the U.S. to just take in and an early window that is just setting up for a huge week nine with so many other great contests. There is a great game in every window, all four windows, this one being, for my money, the game of the year right now. I'm curious, Rich, if it all came out, maybe it didn't, from the Dolphins. Do do they hear the fact that their only two losses have come against the only two good teams that they have played? And, And yes, I would think that they would relish this opportunity because this one does set up quite well for them against a Chiefs team that looks very mortal on yes, let me answer a, that a question prime for you. stage here to to get that monkey off their back. Let me give you that the answer to that question. I have written it down on my on my board here. Jalen Ramsey quote, people don't believe we're great. Uh and I asked him why and he basically said um because a lot of people think we haven't beaten enough winning teams. They haven't. So yes, they sure they sure have heard it. Um, and uh, they would love to um, serve notice uh, internationally that uh, that that is not uh, applicable, that they are um, a great team right now. And again, very prideful men, very prideful men, very talented players all over the lot. Um, and you can I, honestly, you could already feel the uh, the energy here. It's awesome. It's great. Is uh, um, did Tyreek Hill give any insight on what his celebration might be? Is he going into the stands? Is that no. legal in Germany? Do we know anything about no, that? We, we we did not ask we did not ask him that. Uh, although he was rocking a uh, a pencil thin mustache, oh. which uh, one member of our uh, team. <laughs> I know where you're going. <laughs> no, no, no. I, one member what? of our team uh, said to him, "Hey." Um, <laughs> The mustache looks good on you. And he literally said, uh, this was his exit line. He says, I'm preparing for my post-playing career. That's what, what I was going to say. I'm like, is he, get, is he getting ready for his work in, in the Valley, the West Valley, um, when he, he gets done? He truly said wow. that and then left. And in front of Tua and everyone else, I said, he just boogie nighted out the door. Hey, now. So, hey now. Well, that is, these are, these are exact quotes from the production meeting uh, oh, for NFL Network. So... Uh, and certainly in the regard of uh, best uh, matchups for week number nine, while uh, I have uh, some time here with you guys, I'd like to deliver what I've been delivering last few Thursdays. I've got a top five list internationally from Germany all the way home to you. Oh, let's do top it. Top five, most intriguing One, two, matchups. Three, four, Can you do five. it in Germany? Rich's top five. All right. I need the music, Mike Del Tufo. I need to hear it all the way across the globe. And now I hear it and it's awesome. Number five on this list is the, I'll tell you what, it, this is amazing how many great games there are and how difficult it was to order them uh, when you've got uh, the fifth game being the Monday night game, which in the last couple of weeks has been the number one uh, game on the list. I'm going Chargers Jets. I think this is a big game for both teams. I think the Jets coming off of that ugly win, but there's no pictures in the standings trying to go to five and three with their next game going to be in Vegas against a Raiders team in complete flux right now. And they can go to five and three and send the chargers to three and five, take a two and a half game lead on a team that they might be jockeying for wild card position with later on this uh, upcoming um, winter. Uh, I, I think this is a huge game. Justin Herbert versus Zach Wilson. Two uh, stout uh, pass rush defenses coming at you. 
That's number five on this list. Number four, the leaders of the AFC North are welcoming in the leaders of the NFC West. And a couple of weeks ago, it'd be like, wait a minute, the Niners aren't playing in Baltimore. It's the Seattle Seahawks coming to town. The Seattle Seahawks at five and two, taking on the six and two Lamar Jackson led Baltimore Ravens. Can the Ravens stay on top of the AFC North by going to seven and two? Can they enter the seven win club later on in the afternoon of a morning in which one of the teams here in Germany will break that ceiling first as an AFC team? Or can the Seahawks take advantage of the bye week of the San Francisco 49ers and go to six and two over the five and three Niners? Can the Seahawks go on the road in a very tough place to play? You saw what the Ravens did to their last visitor in the Lions. They just pounced all over them. I can't wait to see this game. A hard-hitting defense on both sides of the ball. Seahawks, Ravens, number four. Number three. This is wild. Now now it, we're getting into rarefied air because this this would have been number one in pretty much any other week. But on this week, it's number three. And it's the uh, the Bills at the Bengals. I'm putting them number three on this list. Wow. There's so much intrigue, obviously, around both of these clubs. The Bengals are um, four and three with a complete arrow pointing up. The Bills have been middling back and forth between outstanding in weeks two through four and then inconsistent but still winning. Five and three. Do they have enough on their defense with so many injuries there? They got Rasul Douglas, who is fascinatingly enough, hilariously enough, put on the the uh, the injury report <laughs> as uh, did not practice the other day with the designation of just got here, which was outstanding uh, and fun, fun stuff from the Bills PR staff. Uh, and the Bengals, as we all know, look like the Bengals for the first time in San Francisco this past week, like the Bengals of the last two years. They're number three. Bills and Bengals on this list. Number two. Sorry, TJ, the varsity is number two. Oh, wow. Cowboys yeah, and Eagles are it. number two on this list with Dallas playing the way that they just played, wrapped around the bye, sweeping Los Angeles around their bye. And then the Eagles. The Eagles, I know they haven't played as well as Dallas over the last three weeks, but this is throw the records out. And Dallas versus Philadelphia, late window on Fox. If the Cowboys win this game, they're not at first because they won't have enough wins to get there, but they'll even up the loss column with Philadelphia and then have a much easier stretch between now and the next time they face Philly. While Philly has to take on San Francisco, Philly has to take on Kansas City. It is a tough row to hoe for Philadelphia over the next week, they, that next few weeks. They need to win this one. They need to hold serve at home. Um, and we'll see what Dallas can do. As we all know, they started the season with a road division win against the Giants. That's number two. And then uh, maybe I'm a little biased. Maybe there is a, an I and Rich and Eisen, but an international series contest. First ever played in Frankfurt, Germany. It is six and two Miami versus six and two Kansas City. It is all that plus the biscuit. And then just for all of us here at NFL Network getting to broadcast this on Sunday, it will take place one day after we celebrate our 20th anniversary. So it's big for the network. It's big for the league. It's big for Germany. It's big for the international scene. It's big for both of these teams because this could be the difference between playing the AFC Championship in Kansas City or Miami with all due respect to Jacksonville and Cincinnati and Baltimore and everyone else who thinks they can be the one seed right now. This is huge. That's my top five most intriguing game. Oh, sure. All right, we'll get one more. (laughs) I'll be straight up, guys. It took a while for me to find the one other intriguing game. I almost threw Arizona and Cleveland on there just in case Kyler Murray Mm -hmm. might somehow play, you know? Um, and I've been in meetings. That hasn't been any, there hasn't been any news on that front. I don't believe. No, right? no. But uh, D- Deshaun's back on the practice field and actually back on the podium. Which, if you want to read into that, he's on the podium today. Maybe. Okay. I mean, there is a we'll chance. See. There's still a chance I mean, it's Kyler is, and Deshaun. Now, if that is it, then obviously this would be the one more. Mm-hmm. But um, the Raiders doing what they did this week by axing their coach and general manager and putting Antonio Pierce in as their interim head coach and the first team he faces is one of his former teams and the Giants who are sending Daniel Jones apparently to Las Vegas this one intrigues me I'll be straight up just to see 
what happens with Aiden O'Connell. Could he possibly start lighting it up in a way that Jimmy G could not? I mean, talk about a complete reversal, of course, what the Raiders just did over the last 72 hours um, makes this game one of the more intriguing ones on the list, despite the records. And that's my top five list. Yeah. For you right there, gentlemen. I, I'm with you. And that Cowboy Eagle game is fascinating on so many levels as well. Coming off the fact that the, the, the Lions looked as good as they did, Rich, on Monday night. Now they get a bye. There is, if you map out the schedule, and I realize we're only at the halfway point, there is a clear path to the Lions getting the number one seed in the oh, NFC. Sure. When you look at what the Eagles schedule is, they get the Cowboys mm -hmm. this week, right? Then they get the bye. Then they go at Kansas City, Buffalo, San Francisco, at yeah. Dallas, and at Seattle. I mean, that that is a five-game gauntlet where all five teams are conference championship game worthy. Oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. One million percent. That's why, you know, they got to take this one down for Dallas, too, because it gets tough. And Dallas's schedule is is much softer, um, if you will, during that stretch. As is the Lions. So, you know, so that, that's one way to look at it. And and the other aspect, again, of the intrigue of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders is making their change at quarterback. And then, um, you know, in a way, um, not having the social media team uh, somewhat read the room. Um, <laughs> I think we have the tweet. Um, the yeah. Las Vegas this Raiders. So there good. it is. Uh, happy birthday, Jimmy Garoppolo today. <laughs> Where shall and, we send um, your cake to the bench? And I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do this. Um, but it is somewhat simple. We have, a, I think we have an exclusive photograph of what they got Jimmy for his birthday. <laughs> hey there it is. Oh, there you go. There Look at is. that. Is that one of the heated um, ones? It looks like it. I don't know. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. Not, but, but, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure he's comfortable. It is his birthday you know it's kind of special so want him to be comfortable uh, hey i i'm happy that, that you're there our, and you're safe yeah. and you're comfortable as well i, I just Thanks, want bud. to tell real quick a, a 60 yeah. second version of our sunday together and i think you mentioned this on the air monday so we're watching games oh, together yeah. at NFL let's Network. do this let's do this okay. let's do this go ahead right. go ahead no, because go ahead. i know you're gonna get fired go ahead. it all no, 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 ended you go ahead. well you go ahead. I, I want i could tell you're getting i'm ready for this <laughs> this is a good story it's a happy story so we're watching games together we have like a theater at nfl network if you it looks like a movie theater we have all the games yeah. on and we're all in there watching someone's running the remote and moving games all over the board here and it was pouring rain. The Jets and Giants game was flat out ugly. I believe it had 75 punts in it, a new NFL record. And when Tommy DeVito, Syracuse legend, comes in, I said to Rich, it was Gallo's humor. It wasn't like, hey, your team sucks, buddy. It was Gallo's humor. I said, yeah, yeah, by the way, by the way, by the way, hold on a minute. While we're watching your Browns screw it up. No, too, no, no, they, so. they hadn't started yet. They were a late window <laughs> okay. game. And I said, right. man, oof, imagine the headline of Tommy DeVito beats them. And it wasn't like, ha ha, your team's losing. But no, you, you, you kind of took it that way. Understandably. No, it was, no, it was, it was, it was, it was you know, uh, <laughs> was, negative was, Nelly Andrew. It's what it was, negative Nelly what? Andrew, which Andrew, listen, which you can admit and all your friends can admit. And negative Nelly Andrew shows up sometimes. We all have it, you know. And and I didn't, we know, I, didn't I didn't need it. I didn't need it. I Clearly, it. I was watching. I get it. All that was happening. I get it. You know, I didn't. I didn't need this. Well, could you imagine? To the be headline? fair. You this were pretty fired up screaming the at the Jets. You, oh, I was. Wasn't, you were throw the damn. Ball. You were pretty fired up. Okay. <laughs> well, I was getting ready for. I was getting ready for my trick or treat night as a banana. Yeah. On the streets of, that was the a streets great of photo. San Fernando Valley. I liked that one immediately. So Sam, he got fired double, up before. double, double tap. That's why he okay. got oh, into yeah. a fight. Yeah, yeah. Trick so, got me ready. You, no, but I turn to Andrew. I double turn to Andrew. Tap. I'm like, can you please not <laughs> manifest that? Can we just not and, and manifest I, it? And I try to spin it positively. And then Devito scores. And then right, and then Devito scores, and I looked at you, and you wouldn't even you wouldn't even make eye contact with me. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember that part, but I do remember this. After the fourth down sack, in which you were pretty fired up, that Zach Wilson didn't throw the ball away. I would have been as well. I left. He should have. I left. You decided to get up and leave. Understandably, your game is over, so Out. you leave. A few minutes <laughs> later, I'm preparing because I, I was doing a double dip. I'm getting ready for my next show to go downstairs to stage five, and. Um, all of a sudden, we look up. Graham Gano missed the field goal. Honestly, I stopped watching. I, my focus went elsewhere on the big screen. And then all of a sudden, people realize, holy heck, Zach Wilson's got 24 seconds to pull this out. No way he's going to do mm -hmm. it. Well, then he completes that first one. And then all of a sudden, we realize this is happening. So somebody goes, where's Rich? Rich left. 
Like, somebody get rich on the line. He probably doesn't know this is happening. That's and true. so I'm about to leave. I'm in the front row. Mooch, Mooch always sits in the front row. So, mm -hmm. so I was like, call, call Rich. So I swear to God, Rich, you didn't see this. Mooch does this. Pulls his phone out and goes, Siri, call Rich Eisen. Just like this. Okay? <laughs> Sitting in the front row. Siri, call Talking Rich to his Eisen. Phone, and then B. Like a right. ordering the blue plate yes. special at 4.30 exactly. in the afternoon. So it rings. And then he yeah. has you on speak. He's trying to get you on speakerphone. So he's like doing this, right? So he gets you on speakerphone. And then, they're, Rich, Rich, they're, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna send it to overtime. And you're like, huh? What? Are you listening? No, no. Turn it on the radio. <laughs> and, and with everyone making noise in the background, oh, we lost Rich here. With everyone making noise in the background, <laughs> Mooch is doing play-by-play, -play, and it was it was a great moment. And then obviously, Mooch. Greg Zerline hits the field goal, and they send it overtime, and they win it in overtime. And it was the the old man Mooch, and we love Mooch. <laughs> Siri, call Rich. Eisen. And it was all the ones too where he was holding the phone out like this, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, watch the game Sunday on NFL Network and NFL Plus Plus on NFL.com. It, it's yeah, like Rich said. I'm back. Rich yeah, is yeah. back. Yeah. We we I'm are. I'm back. All I, you know me. I can't. I can't. I can't. Moment. I can't. I have trouble saying goodbye. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when there was no calls way drop. Hit but anyway, you thank you, German? Andrew. Thank. I just. I just was so thankful that your negativity didn't manifest itself all the way to the end. And now, next time when I see you. You know, I can't wait to sit down uh, next to you while we're watching the Cleveland Browns game. Nobody you know should I mean? ever do that. You know what I mean? Like, boy, I can't, I can't. Can you imagine if the Browns lose this way? Like, I, that's the way. That's you know, not something how I said lines. it. That is not uh, how I it's, said it's, it. It's, no, that's not. It's, I, might, I might be over, uh, over exaggerating. Can, but, can, okay. uh, at any rate, thank well, you. Well, let, let's leave on this one, one quick note. We're way over. Sure, can yeah. we yeah. come to an agreement here? Yes. I probably didn't take the right tone and you were also probably really fired up and angry about your team that it yes. maybe came yeah. across to was, you the wrong way you shouldn't have said what you said the way you said it at any point in time ever and i was too sensitive yes okay these there are two agree. things that you okay. mean, yeah yeah right. these two things can be like can, like can, like any can couple both, both can be both can be true we both yes. realize yeah. what happened we both step away and yes. we're both happy the jets won and you came out happy. insubordinate right. and churlish Correct, I agree. Um, Andrew, all you're, right, you're in the chair, so he couldn't have been that mad at you. This is true. Oh, stop! <laughs> this is all true. good. Um, good to chat with you, gents. We'll chat tomorrow. Rich, Rich, be well. Good to see you. See you. Hey, brother. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.